What's up y'all, Miss Devoted Tiff is back. I hope you accept my apologies. I know I've been gone for a minute. One day I will have to blog about what was going on with my 2017 that kept me away from y'all. You know I had to come back to give you my thoughts on this most recent Real Housewives episode. Whew, where to begin? First, I want to say everybody is doing their job this season, bringing the drama, making sure they can come back next season and get that bigger check. I guess they got tired of people saying it's boring, whereas Nene, because they have turned this up. I don't even know what's real or what's fake no more, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So first episode starts out with Candy, and she has Cynthia and Sheree and Shamia. And then we have Porsche over at her sister's house recapping that crazy lunch that they had, um, that Portia and Candy had. First, let me just say how classy of Candy to invite Shamia, which she knows is Portia's best friend or was Portia's best friend because I be um, standing on Instagram. I haven't seen Portia and Shamia on each other's page in a while. But anyway, she brings Shamia there and she says in the interview, because I just had to let her know that her friend was lying on me. Like, if they're supposed to be making people think that they don't have anything outside of a friendship going on, they are not doing a good job. But I digress. So, she has them all there. And I love how, and this really, I said I had to see what y'all thought about this, because this really caught my attention. I love how Candy, when she sat down and she said, um, so... Portia is putting out a rumor that I'm a lesbian. Shamia's face was just shock. It wasn't no, what? I can't believe it. That's crazy. It was just shock. To me, it looked like the shock as if, oop, the cat is out the bag. No pun intended. Well, maybe pun intended. The cat is out the bag. And um, Candy, very quickly, after she um, says what Portia was saying, she says, which is crazy. Now, if it's not crazy... And it's not true. Why would you have to say, which is crazy? Like, <laughs> it would be a given. You would wait for them to say, man, that's crazy. I felt like she was putting the which is crazy on the end of that because she wanted to let Shamia know I'm denying it. So Shamia knew how to play the situation and what her role was supposed to be. Let me know what y'all think about that. So basically she tells them everything Candy says. So basically she tells the girls everything Portia said and how upset she was and what she was most upset about is the drugging rumor, which let me just say, um, I agree that is not something that you should play around with. I get why Portia said it. And if y'all are first time watching this, I am team Portia. So let's just get that out of the way. Anyways, um, Anyways, um, I do not fully agree with her saying what the other person said. I do not fully agree with Portia saying whatever she heard um, about trying, a Candy trying to drug her. I get that right now. All bets are off. All niceness is gone. Claws are out. And so basically everybody's losing all their manners and morals and niceties. And it's just going for blood. Going gutter. And so, yeah, Portia brought it up. Candy was pissed. Um, she has to throw in, oh, I've been in the music industry for a while. And I've seen these things. I don't like nobody saying that about me. I, for one, felt like... I don't know why Candy was getting so upset because she's been a celebrity for a long time. Rumors are always out there. If she knows it's not true, why was she like to the upsetness of, that she was? Because it's kind of like, you know, if it's not true, it's like, okay, whatever. You know, there's always stuff going on out there. But for whatever reason, Candy got really upset. Of course, um, Sheree and Cynthia did too because they're her friends and, um, they were like, no, no, I know that's a lie, I know that's a lie. And um, then Cynthia tries to throw in there, well, we know Portia lies. You know, she said all this stuff about Peter. Um, Ma'am, stop. It, that is not an exhibit A. That's not a good exhibit A. Like, it was proven that he was out there in the street. So, please be quiet. That doesn't apply. Anyways, so... <laughs> Um, it goes on to Candy and Todd are at the restaurant, shows they're making a little progress, 
and uh, I guess she had already downloaded Todd on what happened. And so then they talk about needing a break and wanting to go on a trip. I love how these reality shows act like these trips are out of the blue. Hey, let's go to Hawaii in a few days. And they've even discussed it in past reunions that before the filming even starts, they sit down, they have a meeting, and they pick the dates that everybody can go somewhere. And then Candy's like, oh, is it just going to be us? And then Todd is like, oh, well, you can bring whoever you want. Now, if it's supposed to be a getaway and we're getting away from stress, it's just going to be the two of us, clearly set up anyways that just irritates me so they act like everybody's going but Portia even though we all know that everybody's going and so um Candy sits down and meets with um Sheree and Phaedra and this just trips me out because I think you know up to now I would always try to defend Phaedra because I just think she's the best reader and she throws the best shade so I'm a fan of her for that but this season and a little bit of last the fake true that she's always been called and shady fey fey and all that has been kind of coming out more <laughs> and i mostly don't mind it but except for this situation with portia because i do believe that freaking frack have a legit genuine friendship outside of the show so to see her just kind of let portia take all this heat about the lesbian rumors it kind of like made me a little disappointed in her because you know Portia watching her kids Portia you know defending her in all these conversations Portia's picking her over Shamia and Shamia and Portia have been friends for way longer than uh, Phaedra and Portia so I feel like for her to just kind of be quiet and even at that dinner with Candy and if Sheree was like you know I don't have no dog in this fight but you do you started the dog fight. Portia, all she did was say a little shade like, or maybe still in the closet, ha ha, versus Phaedra. She actually dropped names. She actually said a specific situation that happened. Like, she did all of that. Portia had her back, even though she was sitting at the table when she said it um, about Shamia. And she just let Portia take the fall. Maybe she doesn't want her relationship with Candy to get even more ruined. But I feel like at some point you either, if you're not going to own up to what you said in it, you at least need to speak up and defend Portia a little bit more than you're doing. And so she just, you know, letting Candy vent about the lesbian rumors like she don't know nothing about it. And I just cannot wait till the reunion and see how Candy's going to deal with that or how Phaedra's going to deal with that. Because she is that Southern Belle lawyer. She know how to put a turn on it. She know how to say it real sweet and just make it like it went away. Just be like, child, I don't know. Very dismissive. So I want to know what's going her answer going to be for that. Actually, I did see her on Watch What Happens Live and she was like, well, you know, it was already heated and I didn't want to um, add to a heated situation. Okay. So, um... We have freaking Frack, and they're at a center that does um, tightening of collagen and improving elasticity. And um, Portia's trying to figure out what she wants to get done. So then Phaedra uses that situation to introduce the idea of going to Hawaii with the rest of the girls. And of course, Portia has to act around like she don't know whether or not she's going to go. And then she's like, okay, yeah, I'll go. So let's fast forward to Hawaii. Um, all of the girls uh, apparently are now against Portia because of the statement that she made, um, about Candy and with Candy running back and telling her what, um, telling them what Portia said. So they get there first. Portia comes with Todd. Um, so I guess they're working things out. And, um, it was very cold, very chill, welcoming she got with Portia. I love her because she, like, didn't even let her, let it phase her. She was just, like, hugging everybody, acting like she having the best time. And, like, she was so oblivious to the fact that they were giving her the cold shoulder. <laughs> it's like, okay, y'all got, like, y'all don't want me here or that y'all about me being here, but I'm still going to have a good time. And that's why I love Portia. So, of course, Sheree being... The shady Sheree, she is the bone carrier, as she calls herself. Um, they haven't long, too long sat down with Portia. And so she goes, so Portia, 
some of the girls had an issue with some of the things you said about candy they said um that you know you be lying a lot and that you're telling lies and um poor Portia she's not gonna back down she's like um not lying and so of course it does what Sheree wanted get dinner turned up because then candy starts getting worked up because she's still upset that it's even out in the air that she could have drugged somebody whether it's true or not candy was still pissed about that thing and so Sheree is doing her job that's why they brought her back and um candy puts out text messages around the table um basically supposed to be receipts of um Portia knowing what happened but let me back up when it came up Portia was like Oh, well, you know, I was drunk, you know, so it may have happened, um, could have happened. So it wasn't like she was denying it. And I saw some people commenting online saying that Portia lied. And, um, before when she said she don't remember it to me, um, not saying you don't remember it is not like a straight out lie either in the moment she was trying to buy time or she legit didn't remember it. I don't know. I'm not Portia. I can't say. But even when she said she didn't remember it, she was like, even if I did, I'm single. I'm doing my thing. And I think that's a point that's kind of irritating me because Candy was so quick to say, oh, well, Portia made out with me. But you're also admitting you made out back and you're a married woman. And everybody seems to be so, oh, I can't believe Portia, you know, tried to make out with Candy. When everybody's saying, well, your husband was there and you're married and you made out with Portia. Like, nobody is dwelling on that. And I feel like that's more of a thing to discuss. Like, am I alone in that? <laughs> and um, I love Peter with his, um, I call him hashtag nasty smurf, with his nasty smurf self. And he was like... I don't know what's going on because if I was tired and I was standing there and my woman made out with Portia, we all getting down tonight. And that may be what happened, but that hasn't come out of the bag yet. But I'm with Peter, like, you know, if this is true, you know, something ain't adding up. So anyways, Candy passes out these text messages and I'm a little on the fence about that because text messages can be altered text messages can be you sent it to somebody and you save that person in your phone as the name of the person that you want it to look like actually sent it you could print it out and say here's your name here's what you said here's what i said so there being text messages didn't phase me a lot but even more than that the actual text message themselves didn't say anything about the actual, you know, eat me till I come. It didn't say anything about them being made it, them. It didn't say anything about them making out. The only thing the text messages said is that she admitted that they turned up and um, something about, you know, I'm not going to try to like rape you as in like um, come on to you while we're on camera. And um, Candy was laughing about it and the text message in her emoticon was a wink. So it didn't seem like it was something, again, she was bothered by. So then Phaedra arrives at the dinner as well. The conversation about Candy and Portia continues. Of course, she stays quiet. And um, it kind of gets a little heated, a little escalated. Candy is so turned up about the whole thing to the point where she gets up and saying, you know, every time I think about it, I want to choke the S out of you. And I'm just thinking, anger management, anger management. Y'all be coming so hard for Portia. She not allowed to get mad and want to hit somebody. And y'all acting like y'all all stable and normal, don't get upset. And that if y'all weren't in the same situations that Portia was in, that y'all wouldn't be coming for somebody too. Exhibit double Z. Because there's been so many examples of y'all turning up whenever y'all get ready. And so, Candy just needs to bring it on down. The truth will set you free. If you have this long, upstanding reputation in the music industry, why would you get so upset? Because people would know that you wouldn't do that. So why are you acting like it's gonna be so damaging, you know, to your kids and all this and all that? Like, if it's that ridiculous, if it's that outrageous, why are you getting so upset? Cause you'd be like, girl, nobody try to drug you. That's just how I feel. Um, looking forward to next week. Whoa, Bob, talking about he should have choked her a little harder. 
Um, we're going to find out some some issues with that. The bone carrier is about to have a bone released herself. Um, thank y'all for watching. Please let me know your thoughts. And I cannot wait to blog with you for the rest of this 2017.